If you want to create photorealistic images like this, like this, and like this, I'm going to show you how to do it using a free tool called Blue Willow. Let's dive right into it. Okay, so welcome back to AI Artistry, and I'm going to be making some really cool um, photograph style images using a free AI tool called Blue Willow. And to get started, all you have to do is go to bluewillow.ai and sign up, you'll join the Discord, and it's very similar to Midjourney if you've ever used Midjourney. So just to dive into our first example, I'm gonna show you what you can create. So we're gonna type in forward slash imagine, and then for our prompt, we're gonna say a portrait photograph of an elderly man, 50 millimeter, F slash 1.4, black and white, film and detailed. Okay, so we've got our first set of results here and you can see these are pretty cool. Um, actually look pretty photorealistic. I'm gonna go ahead and upscale this fourth one here and we'll see how it looks at a larger size. Okay, so not perfect. Um, you can kinda see it doesn't look like the most natural transition here on his cheeks. Um, to the rest of his face, but overall, this is a pretty good result. So let's play around with a couple more and see if we can come up with something really, really good. So for our second example, let's try forward slash imagine, and we're gonna try a uh, tintype uh, photo of Elon Musk, and we're gonna say 1880s. All right, so this one turned out really good here. Um, I really like these results. Very interesting and very accurate. Um, they actually all do look like him. So let's upscale a couple of these and see how they look at a bigger size. And you can see how fast Blue Willow actually is. So upscaled, it doesn't look quite as good. Um, this one here looks pretty good though. I, I like how this one turned out. And But you can see how quickly it upscaled. I mean, literally in less than 10 seconds, um, it upscaled both of these photos. So let's try a couple a couple more here. So um, we're gonna try uh, a 1870 dark monochrome glass negative silver gelatin realistic super sharp realistic photograph Daguerre type portrait of Vincent Van Gogh Okay, so for this prompt, we have the 1870 dark monochrome glass negative silver gelatin realistic super sharp realistic photograph daguerreotype portrait of Vincent Van Gogh shallow depth of field. So this is based on a prompt that I found online. Um, and let's see if we can get a cool result from this. And we're also going to change the aspect ratio um, to two to three. So the way you do that is just dash dash AR space two colon three. All right, so let's see what we've got here. So these are some really, really interesting results here. I'm gonna upscale a couple of these um, because they actually all look pretty good to me. All right, so let's see the upscaled version. So here's one, that one turned out really, really nice. Here's another here. One more. And the last one, and I think the results from this are very consistent with some other things I've noticed about Blue Willow, which is the more information you give it, uh, the better out output it's gonna give you. If you've used a tool like Midjourney before, then you've probably seen, you can put very little into Midjourney and still get some really good results. Um, Blue Willow requires a little bit more input and a little bit more detail, but when you do give it that input, it comes up with some really, really cool results. Um, so let's do one last example here. And we're gonna try a um, tintype photograph. And we're gonna say beautiful exterior view of an old Victorian 
house. We're going to say um, summertime, colorful, uh, and we're going to also say trees. Okay, so we've got some results here, and these aren't bad at all. They actually all look pretty good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and upscale two of these, and let's see how they look at a larger size. Um, but that's all pretty good reference. And once we finish this up, I'm going to show you guys a really cool tool to get some ideas for prompts as well. So here they are at a larger size. This one here turned out pretty good. Um, I was hoping it was going to have a little bit more of a faded Polaroid look, but um, not too bad. And this one here, um, some details when you look closely, like the railing here, uh, have some issues, but overall, not a terrible output. Um, but like I said, as you put in more with Blue Willow, you're going to get better results. And there's a tool that I heard about from another YouTuber's channel called, um, his name is Matt Wolf. Definitely check out his channel. He's got a lot of great videos for Blue Willow, Mid Journey, and other AI tools. But he uh, shared this tool called Lexica.art. So if you go to Lexica.art, and because Blue Willow is based on stable diffusion, you can set this to stable diffusion, and you can type in anything here in this, this uh, search bar, and it'll give you some ideas for different prompts that you can use. So if you go through, um, you can just kind of scroll through and see one that you like. So here we see a Polaroid photo of an older man, about 120 years old. Wow, that's very old. Uh, with wrinkles on his face, looking towards infinity with a sad look, a two-day beard, and a woolen cap while his lips are chapped by the sun, as well as his dark complexion. Okay, so as you can see, very, very specific input here. Um, some of those details were missing in these photos, but you can see the results were actually pretty good. Um, some of them look very, very different from each other, but a lot of these look like actual photos here. Um, you know, here's another one. Portrait of a Victorian politician, male, detailed face, cinematic lighting, highly detailed, uh, photographed by Elliot and Fry. So all these are great options to use as examples and references, and you can put those in Blue Willow and I'll show you here. We can just copy this one. Oh, I just hit copy prompt and we'll try it out. So forward slash imagine, paste that in. And, um, you know, I'll show you how you can use that as an inspiration and especially as you modify it and change it to meet more what you're looking for. That's a really great resource to not have to come up with everything on your own and even learn about some prompting uh, styles and guides that you may not have been able to come up with on your own. Okay, so we got some really nice results from this. Um, I'm gonna upscale a couple of these and we'll look at them at a larger size. And these both turned out pretty nice. Um, you know, I think especially with a little bit more tweaking, we could get even better results, but overall some really, really good output. Uh, I really hope that you guys found this video helpful and I hope that you enjoyed it. And this is just kind of a little glimpse into some of the things you can do with Blue Willow. And I'm sure as this tool continues to evolve over time and they continue to make improvements, it's only gonna get better from here. So I definitely think it's worth investing in learning and not to mention it is a great free tool. You don't have to pay for it at all. So I hope that you guys found this helpful and enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.